Welcome back to your review for your Algebra 1 Semester 1 final. Just as a reminder, even if your problem is not problem 16, as long as you have a problem like this, you'll probably want to keep watching this video. Um, the idea behind this problem is identifying what functions look like if they're graphed, or maybe relationships that are not functions. What do those look like when they're graphed? The idea behind a function is that an input should only give you one answer. So if you plug in, for example, 2 and get an answer of anything, pick a number, let's do 5, that's okay. But if you plug in 2 and you get an answer of 5 sometimes, and other times you get an answer of 7, that's not okay. An input of 2 can only give us one answer. It could be 5, it could be 7, it could be something, but it, the only thing functions cannot do is they can't have different outputs mapped to the same input. And sometimes you'll see it like this. We input 2 and then it's outputted to 5 and 7. That's not okay. We can't have that happen. How does that show up on graphs? Well, let's take a peek through. If we look at A, right? A, maybe let's pick a couple points on here. Here's the point 1, 2, 3, 4. This looks like the point 4, comma 4. When we input 4, we get 4 as an answer. But notice at the same point, we have the point 4, comma negative 4. This is telling us when we input 4 into the equation, the answer could either be 4 or negative 4. This is not a function. A fast way to tell that is you can perform the vertical line test. The vertical line test is a vertical line and you should draw it everywhere on the function. If the vertical line ever touches more than one spot on your graph, and this touches two, then your graph is not a function. And the reason why is because this is showing us that our x value right here at two touches at two different points. It has two different y values. So be careful with that. Notice that a vertical line would never touch more than one spot here, nor would a vertical line ever touch more than one here, or even over here. All of these are functions, and so A is the only graph which does not represent a function. 